Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Sierra's Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for all my beautiful, my handsome Sagittarius out there. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So please take the parts that doesn't, what doesn't leave that shit on out. Also, this could be the past, the present, or in the future, okay? And beware of scammers in the conversation. Pretend to be me, okay? Ask for a little bit of change. I don't ask for money, and I do not put my number out in the uh, comment section, okay? <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get started, love, okay? Here's the thing, Sagittarius. This could be you or what have you, but I'm definitely getting this is a family setting. This is a family group here. Um, or, you know, you're dealing with certain different energies within your family. It's like some of you feel like you're the eyeball. Okay. Some of you feel like you are, you're not a part of the family, but at the same time, you are the head of the family. If that makes sense. You understand your role and what you have in this world. Sagittarius, okay. You could be a star seed, could be a star seed here. Or there is a um, star seed by the name of Yamoja that's protecting you. Okay. But someone you hear can unlock certain DNA and um, and see certain things with it. Like where, how can I explain this? Like you are definitely breaking generational curses here, okay? But you're able to see certain different ways and, you know what I'm saying, with certain family members. You see that they're kind of toxic here, some of them. You understand that you was not, you can't choose your family. But at the same time, you need these people here to evolve in a certain type of way. Okay? Yeah, because I see you looking back into your family and the seven the generations going back to seven generations, okay, of your family. I don't know if you got the, some type of ancestry DNA. For some of y'all, you didn't have to, but at the same time, it's like you still know that your DNA is very powerful. Okay, you're able to pinpoint send a, a different type of frequencies here. Um, you could be very clairvoyant, you could be having ringing in your ears, all right, but you just see things at a whole different perspective than certain people do in your family. You know, understand that your family probably does not understand you as a person, as a whole um but you're okay with that because you like i said you understand your purpose okay but you let me tell you this though i'm also getting that your family members are looking at you in a particular type of way they're realizing who you are okay some of your family members even dream of you they even dream of you and who you are you can barely see that okay but anyway but some of your family members even dream about you okay things are being brought to light when it comes to you and their visions and the dreams that they're having yeah we have your breaking generational curses so some of these family members know that you are the a generational curse breaker okay love this damn thing getting on my nerves shit but yeah somebody here knows that you are the generational curse breaker okay out the family and they know that now it's power in your absence. When you're not away, I mean, when you're away from these family members and you say to yourself, because some of you, like I said, you're a starseed. You don't want to be by around too many people with two different, you know, type of personalities or they down on a low vibration or whatever, okay? You don't be around it. But it's power in your absence. When you're away from these particular family members, it's like they begin to long for you. They begin to reach for you here, okay? But something about the power in your absence when you stay away. Yeah, we have your hater in the family. Hater in the family. There's a hater in the family here. Okay? And maybe for some of y'all, you dealt with this as a child. And you were also going through some type of social anxiety. Maybe you still have social anxiety. You don't like, you don't really like to be in big crowds and different crowds of people here. Because you kind of get a little bit anxious, nervous. Okay? Is what I'm getting. So, yeah. But we have here 444. So, you are highly protected, whoever you are. Some of you could definitely be an ascended master. Okay? Like I said, you are a star seed. Okay? Damn. So, some of these people know that you are protected. Whoever these hate, this hater is in the family, they know who you are. They're jealous of you. They're jealous of the fact that you can break the generational curses. Okay? You can stay away. You don't have to be a crowd of the crowd. You're not a people pleaser. You ain't trying to please none of these family members or no shit like that. You just know who you are. Okay? You know you may not fit in or whatever like that and you okay with that okay these folks ain't doing shit but get uh uh doing you a favor period <clears throat> Then we have great news. So some of you definitely will will be, will be receiving some type of great news very soon. Okay Sagittarius what else? What else is going on for Sagittarius Holy Spirit ancestors? What else is going on with Sagittarius? We have your judgment day. Yeah, so some of these people are being judged at this time. Yeah, because they bitter. They're bitter. Okay? And I'm seeing that some of you saying that you will see them next lifetime. You ain't got time for this shit. All right? You tried to warn these people to leave you alone or they was warned, warned by the uh, Most High here. Yeah, it says believe in me. Maybe because they didn't believe in you or who you were. Okay? But I'm, I'm thinking, they, ooh, we... 
Ooh, I, I knew it. So we have here, is this for real? Okay, believe in me. So these people didn't believe in you. So they, they now that they see who you are, what you're about, they're like, what the fuck? Okay, is this really who they are? Oh, hell to the now, whoever this hating ass family member is. But then we have here, spiritual bath. So some of you may need to up your protection, okay? Yeah, some of you need to up your protection, take a spiritual bath here. Okay, I just see you guys minding your business or paying your bills here. But you got some better people here that's in your family that's jealous of the fact that you have some type of big gifts or abilities. They're saying that who do you think you are? You might you think you're better than us since you don't want to be around us or what have you. So, or there's one person in particular starting to mess within the family because you're not there to defend yourself. Okay, there's the energy that I'm getting. So, tell me more about this individual here for chapter series. So, we got four swords, yeah, the full card. So yeah, so I'm definitely seeing that. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Oh, I can't make it up. Empress. So, Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody's jealous because you are an Empress here. You bring truth. You bring clarity. Okay, to those around you, whether they like it or not, here at the series. Okay, yeah, and you don't mind abandoning these people and letting these people go. All right, because you're all about your strength and your your energy here, your positive energy. Yeah, Five of Wands. You got people jealous of you. I'm trying to tell you, there's people jealous of you. Okay. Yeah, we got a King of Wands here. This is probably you, Sagittarius. All right, then we got the Queen of Pentacles. So your masculine and your feminine energy is very balanced here at this time. Yeah, you're planning something out for your future. You have a plan for your future here, okay? And you're focused on that because you do. You know you have a purpose, all right? But you got jealous motherfuckers that want you stuck in the Eight of Swords energy, all right? So, so there's some people here that want you stuck, okay? When it comes to your stability, your home. Yeah, I'm getting that could be a female. This is a female here that's jealous of you. And they're also jealous of a relationship that you may have with the three of swords. They're in their feelings about a relationship that you may have. Okay, like I said, they're bitter. They don't have nothing going on for themselves. Okay, they're dependent on the family. But you're dude, you don't mind um being solo here. Is the energy that I'm getting here. Yeah. And you you you're not gonna talk about it here to a Sagittarius. You're gonna just go out there and do it. Okay. I'm getting you're dealing with someone in your family that's a procrastinator. All right. Let's see. This card to flip over. Damn. Yeah, three of wands. These people got to be this or you just distance yourself. You ain't got time for it. Yeah, you rejecting these people. You don't want their love. You don't want nothing from these people. Okay, you just focus on the back with the ten of pentacles. You're done dealing with these family members. Okay, you know drama and their hatred. Okay, you know that you are the matriarch. Like I said, you're. You, you have power in your motherfucking absence. There's power in your absence. These people are facing their judgment, okay? Because they try to judge you when you were the one, the star out of the family, okay? That's what I'm getting, yeah. So somebody here almost, or you almost got it figured out, okay? Yeah. So just know these family members that you're keeping yourself away from, boo, they're having dreams about you. They realize who the fuck you are, where the fuck you came from, or what have you, okay? Within this dynamic, yeah, Six of Swords. The magician, and you find yourself to yeah, seven swords in reverse. Yeah, they can't trick you, they can't do none of that shit. They can't even pop up if they want to. Was the energy that I'm getting here, Sagittarius? Okay, because you are manifest, you are a magician, you like to do shit by yourself, okay, and not be around any sneaky, sneaky ass motherfuckers. These people are receiving towers anyway, all right? Yeah, and this is the truth with the ace of swords, yeah? Yeah, somebody here, here, look, they can't sleep at night because they're too busy worried about you. They can't sleep at night here, Sagittarius. All right, but then we have Justice Libra energy. Yeah, these people definitely feel like justice will be restored within their life if you were to come back, okay? If you were to come back and mingle things and rebuild things with them. Yeah, Ace of Cups, they want to show you love now, okay? Yeah, Seven of Wands, but you're protecting yourself, period. You're finding balance. The more you find, the more you get away from these people and start living your own life and control your own narrative of your life, it's like these people have no more control over you, Okay? For some of y'all, this is a father figure here with the Emperor card, Aries energy, Hangman, Pisces energy. Nah, because these people once had you stuck that was laughing at your pain. Okay, when you were down and out, now that you're up, now these people can't believe it. All right, now they have, they have dreams and, and nightmares about you here. Okay, but you just over here in your own, little, your own little world, okay? Doing you, living your life, love, and continue to do that. That's all you can do, okay? But I love you so much, Sagittarius. If you guys need anything else from looking at the description box below. See you guys next time. Bye.